So for a very long time now, I'm being asked this question about discipline. How do you become more disciplined? How do you become the type of person that does the right thing? That is a disciplined individual that when they know they need to do something, they just go out and do it. And I've been asked about this from people on the street that randomly recognize me, that met me, people in live seminars, when I do seminars for 100 people, there's always people coming up at the end asking like, Mario, how can I become more disciplined? How can I do the things? I already know what I need to do, but I'm not doing it. People in live events, people in comments, people in messages and emails, I kept being asked this question, which brings me to two issues. Number one, most people think that if they had more discipline, every single problem in their life would be solved. Most people attribute their problems and the lack of success to a lack of discipline. Number two, most people have no idea where to begin to build discipline. They're always mentally masturbating about it. They're using wishful thinking. They're trying to visualize something. They're trying to figure it out. Nobody's taking any action to really build discipline. So I'm going to share with you two things in this video that will help you become more disciplined if you want to take action, if you're going to work hard, if you are willing to put in the work, you will become more disciplined. It's not going to happen overnight. And I'm going to show you how me as a person who came from a position of being a pro gamer, I played World of Warcraft 12 to 14 hours a day. I was the least disciplined person in the world, least disciplined person among my peer group. My family never considered me very disciplined. I was successful, but I was not successful because of my discipline. In high school, in college, all these I went through, I would delay things up until the very end. And then I would kind of squeeze in somehow and figure it out at the very end. I was never really that disciplined person that would do the homework day one, that would do the work day one. I would always delay the project. I was always pushing things up until the very end because I loved procrastinating. I loved the instant gratification of delaying things. Now today, I'm the polar opposite of that individual. Today, where I'm at right now, I am choosing to delay that gratification because if I look back, Okay, so one thing that I would say, now out of all the things that I know bring success in life, out of every single book, I've read 500 plus books on success, I built a company from scratch that now serves hundreds of clients every single year in fitness, transforms their body, transforms their life, influenced millions of people. How do I do that? And if I could attribute this to one single skill that can bring you success, that will bring you success if you follow this one thing, that is the ability to sacrifice short-term pleasure for a long-term gain. That's what it comes down to. If I could boil down success to one critical skill that you absolutely must have, it is the ability to delay gratification. And that is what really discipline is at the end of the day. It's to be able to discipline yourself to not eat the cake right now so you can have a six pack in four months from now. So you can have the best body of your life in six months from now or a year from now. So you don't go watch Netflix right now. So in two years, you're gonna have a company or an audience or a business or whatever you wanna build that you want to have as an asset in your life that's gonna enable you to live free and live on your own terms. You're not gonna go watch Netflix right now. You're not gonna go get drunk. You're not gonna go out and party which is the exact same thing that my peers, when I was grinding out, building my business, when I was working on myself, upgrading myself, going to the gym, dieting, doing all those things, most people that I knew and most people of my age and people that were doing things, they were watching sports, drinking, going out, partying, not really working hard, watching TV shows, watching movies. You had to delay all of that. And I had to delay all of that to get a level of success that I can enjoy now and live the life that I want to live. All right, so that's the number one thing. So discipline, look, it's very important, but it does not solve everything. That brings me back to the first point that I made. Discipline is not the actual end game. The end game is habits, all right? Discipline is a stepping stone. Discipline is actually a tool. If you have good discipline, you're able to build good habits. So why I'm able to enjoy the life that I have right now and how I'm able to actually be successful is because I've used discipline to build habits, not because I'm overusing discipline every single day now because discipline will eventually run out for everybody. It is a limited resource because discipline depends on willpower. Once you run out of willpower, you run out of discipline. So you can't keep relying on discipline for years and years and years every single day because things that require willpower all come into that one single reserve tank that you have. And if it's 
something that overwhelms that tank, you will run out. So if you're looking to achieve long-term sustainable success, it is going to come down to building habits and using discipline to build habits, whether it's fitness, business, relationship, whatever it is, it is a set of habits. You are what you repeatedly do. We know that intuitively, we understand that, but we still think discipline is the lack of discipline is the root cause of all our problems. If he had more discipline, we would solve everything. That is not the truth. If you want to be successful, you will have to build habits. Now, you will need discipline to build habits, and that actually brings me to the second point. How do you become more disciplined? And here's my strategy. Here was my strategy that I used to actually build up my discipline from scratch, from zero, from nothing, to actually becoming disciplined to a point where I could say no to things and I could delay that gratification enough to get momentum and to start changing my life, okay? So you start by expanding your comfort zone of what you say no to. You start with delaying some simple pleasures. You start by challenging yourself and getting some of those simple things that you find enjoyable and pleasurable out of the way. Let me give you an example. You go take a shower, you just slightly make it colder, right? Just don't give yourself the pleasure of full comfort. You start removing comfort from your life. You start building up some resilience. You start adding some friction. And when you start adding that friction, you start building that willpower muscle, that discipline muscle. And you start expanding this. You start doing uncomfortable things. You start saying hi to strangers in the shopping mall or when you're doing your groceries. You start doing things that you find uncomfortable. You start expanding that comfort zone because that comfort zone is either expanding or it's shrinking. So it can go both ways and it's in constant flux. If you're not consistently keeping it expanded, it is gonna start shrinking. And then even the basic stuff, like taking the garbage out, can become something that you wanna delay and procrastinate around for days. It can do that, it will do that. I've been there. I've been the guy who didn't wanna do anything. I've been the guy who was the least disciplined person in the world. I wouldn't do absolutely anything to move a finger if it required hard work, unless I absolutely had to, unless the consequences were terrible, right? To avoid that and to not get to that position, which is a lot of negative momentum and it's a deep negative spiral, you have to start building up what is outside of your comfort zone to make that inside of your comfort zone. So slowly start chipping away at that comfortable life that you're living right now. Put yourself in a slight calorie deficit. Feel hungry a little bit. Add friction, add some suffering into your life a little bit, not too much. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't do like day one, fasting all day, no food, water fast for five days and do 10 hours of cardio. You're gonna burn out and you're, you're just gonna crash. You're not gonna make it. But if you slowly start expanding that comfort zone, if you slowly start working on it, if you start just delaying those simple pleasures, like when that instinct comes to go, Watch your favorite show because the episode just come out. Delay it for the weekend. Push it away from the weekend. When the weekend comes, push it away to the next weekend. Wait for four or five episodes to gather up and then binge watch them all in one time. But delay it. Learn how to delay. If you can delay, if you can just remember this word, delay. Delay the gratification. If you just do that, that's what's going to build your discipline. Just delay the gratification. When you find something nice, and you want to get it right now, your first instinct, your first reaction is, I'm going to grab that ice cream, I want to grab that cake, that dessert, you delay it. I'm going to do it next time. Get into the habit of saying next time, next time, next time. Let me just wait a little bit. Create that gap. And once you create that gap, you start building that discipline muscle. And over time, things start becoming easier. Saying no becomes easier. Don't say no to random stuff. Someone calls you up and says, hey, dude, let's just hang out. Random me out of the blue. No, I can't you start becoming more comfortable with saying no. Now you have more time, you have more discipline, you have more willpower, now your life starts changing. Instead of doing random stuff, now you're not spending time on random stuff, now you have all this free time. Now you're starting to read books, now you're starting to get into courses, now you're starting to get mentors. Now your life started changing. And that's really how it all starts. You first discard a lot of the things that make you unsuccessful, so you remove things from your life, you remove distractions from your life, you remove things that are holding you back, and then that opens up space, both mentally, physically, and energetically, and time-wise, opens up that space in your life that now you can start 
adding things back in that will make you more successful. And that is how you expand that discipline. And that over time, that discipline, as you keep repeating reps and reps and reps and reps, now you're starting to build habits. And that discipline, because you now invested it in the, in the building of habits, once you build a habit, let's say going to the gym, you eventually will build that habit up to a point where you don't need discipline anymore. If someone stops me on the street right now and asks me, Mario, how do you get yourself to the gym? You're so disciplined. I'm not disciplined. I don't need discipline to go to the gym. I need discipline not to go to the gym. I would need discipline to hold myself in the house, to lock myself up. You would need to put me in the prison to prevent me from going to the gym or to prevent me from doing the right thing, to prevent me from reading books and working on myself. That's what I need discipline for right now because my default now that I'm operating at is the right thing and that's exactly where you get. And the good part about that is once you get all those things out of the way, so all those things now are a part of you, they're a part of your belief system, they're a part of your mindset or your core values, however you wanna call it, your identity. Now when you have that, now you have all this discipline, all this willpower, all this self-control that you could invest in new things and pushing yourself in some new area. Maybe you wanna learn an instrument, maybe you wanna build a business, maybe you wanna go out, maybe you wanna approach strangers. Whatever you wanna do, now you have that discipline left over for that because you invested it and built habits in other areas. And that's how you start. You start by slowly expanding. And remember, discipline is not the end-all be-all solution, but it is something that's going to get you started and is going to start making you successful. It is going to start changing your life. It is something you have to work on taking on control right now because if you keep procrastinating, if you keep delaying, if you keep delaying the hard work, you will not make it. There is no success without hard work. I have to say this every time because people are here you know, always thinking about the four hour work week, they're thinking about you know, the, the random uh, supplement that you can take, the electric ab stimulator, the shrink wrap, the keto supplement or whatever the hell. People are thinking about shortcuts, shortcuts, shortcuts. There is no shortcut at the end of the day. You have to put in the work, you have to put in the time, you have to put in the effort and you have to be patient. It is gonna take some while, but guess what? The time is gonna pass anyway. Now a year from now, looking back at this video, you could be in a much better position. You could be in a position where you're looking back here and you're just looking at yourself. You're like, oh my God, I made so much progress. I can't even recognize that person. That's what happened to me. I don't think I could even sit down and have a conversation with myself from five years ago or 10 years ago, more accurately, 10 years ago, before I started my journey. I don't think we would have anything to talk about, really. Like that person was a totally different person, different belief system, different core values. I had to reinvent myself. You have to reinvent yourself. If you're not happy with yourself right now, maybe you don't need to reinvent your entire area of your life. I don't know you. I mean, maybe right now you're not struggling with your social life. Maybe you're not struggling with your business. Maybe the only thing you're struggling with is your fitness. Maybe the only thing you're struggling with is how to get in good shape. But that's the belief system you need to change about yourself. That's the part of you that you need to change. And that's the part of you when you look back a year from now, you can't recognize yourself making those choices and you won't be able to relate to that. And that's if you do that every year, Every year looking back, you should be smarter. Every day you go to bed, you should be a little bit smarter than you were yesterday. That's how it's supposed to be. Life is about progress. And if you push yourself, if you keep expanding comfort zone, as I said earlier, you will get to this level in your life where you are insanely disciplined. And most people will be very, very jealous and envious of where you're at now because they're able to sense, they can sense that you're the type of person that gets stuff done. When you say you're gonna do something, you're gonna do something. And that integrity is something that's very, very polarizing. People wanna hang out with people like that. People wanna hang out with people that know what's the right thing, they do the right thing, and they don't make any excuses. Those are leaders, those are influencers, those are people that inspire action in others, and those are people that make other people wanna become more disciplined. That's where I see you, that's where I see you going, and that's where, I, you, where, that's where you should be. Now look, if you want to become more disciplined, if you need help in the area of fitness, I got you covered. There's going to be a link in the comments below where you can go and check out some of the results that I've been getting with my clients. And if you're interested in that same page, there's a link on there as well to apply for the program. No strings attached. You can just check out the results, see if you like it, see if you resonate with that. If you do, go and apply. If not, if you don't need help with your fitness right now, that's super cool. Work on your discipline, build habits, get healthy. If you want to know what to do, and if you need my help, if you need help from my team so we can guide you step by step, we can grab you by the hand, then go to that page, check out some of the results we've been getting with guys, 
listen to some of the videos and some of the guys' the stories that they're sharing about their journey. If you relate to that, if you need that help, we'll be here, my company, me, my team, we will serve you, we will help you get there, but you do have to put in the work to improve yourself. There is no shortcut. I gotta say this once again, and I appreciate you watching. Glad you were here, glad you got this. Let me know in the comments. Relate this, share the video if you find this to be helpful for you or some of your friends that need to build more discipline. And I will see you in the next video.